and the barbecue world just got very, very dark. Okay. That's right. <laughs> so, so. Hey folks, it's Ben for Smoking Hot Confessions here. I hope you're well wherever you are and you got that thin blue smoke rolling. So I'm in downtown Hammond at the Hammond Barbecue Challenge. Things have wrapped up for the day, but not before I speak to my good mate here, Kelly from the Smoking Butt Crew. Mate, with a name like that, you must be all about barbecue, obviously. How's well, the weekend been for you? Well, we kind of, this is the first contest of the year. We had kind of a rough outing today. So oh, no. we don't expect a whole lot, but you know, maybe we luck up and get a call would be great but I'm not expecting to do very well today. All right, well. But that's all right. We were having a great time. It was a fantastic contest. We couldn't have ordered better weather. Uh, great food, great music. I highly recommend it to anybody that could get here. Only problem is there's a wait list to get in this contest. I have heard that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a very You really have one. to know somebody or pay somebody off to get in. <laughs> or, or, or bump somebody off. Yeah, that's right, or bump somebody off. <laughs> uh, we've had to do that too. But. <laughs> and the barbecue world just got very, very dark. Okay. That's right. <laughs> so, so, so tell the me what's been happening world. this weekend for you. you. You said things didn't go to plan. What happened? Well, you know, first contest of the year, you, 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 you think you have everything you need and you forget a couple of things and then, you know, uh, you forget how to barbecue. We've been doing it for about 15 years, and uh, it seems like I start over every year in the in the first start of the season. But um, we just had a kind of a rough brisket for whatever reason. That's usually our go-to category. But uh, who knows? I'm a, I'm pretty hard on myself. Oh, I'm, right, I'm yeah. my worst enemy. You know, my own worst enemy. Oh, we always are. Yeah, we yeah. always are. So when it when it comes to brisket, what uh, what brand do you prefer to use or breed do you prefer? We use Snake River Farms uh, Wagyu briskets. Um, been using them for ten years uh, and have real good luck with them. They're very consistent. I just I don't know. You know, it was, I'm sure it was my fault and how I prepared it or injected it or something, but. Uh, it just wasn't my strongest category. That is part of competition barbecue. I, I know that when I compete, I'll, I'll use the same brand of everything. I'll cook it the exact same way. And one weekend I'll get a call out. The next weekend I'm barely off the bottom. Well, the, that's exactly right. So, you know, um, that's part of it. And it's that's what makes it competitive barbecue. But it's good, all good. Yeah, yeah. Now you said that this is the start of your season. How many comps do you usually do in a year? I try to do 10, but it usually works out about eight. You know, I have a, I'm still a working guy. I work, you know, about 60 hours a week. So I, hear I, that. <laughs> I really have to plan the contest. We're going to, we've got uh, six on schedule this year and uh, we're part of the Alabama Barbecue Association. So we try to hit at least five to be in contention for Alabama's team of the year. It's really the only thing I can go after. Fair enough. Now, that's interesting that you said that you're from Alabama. How does, or what uh, what sort of flavors or styles would you say typifies Alabama style barbecue? Well, you know, we were talking about that too. Um, if you really could change your flavor profile, depending on what region of the country you cook, I'm not that good to change. I just, <laughs> I just try to do my, my, my own recipes that I do every weekend uh, we cook. I think it's probably, you know, uh, uh, more sweet than savory in Alabama. Um, you know, it's definitely not a Texas brand barbecue. Uh, they like a little bit of heat, but you know, naturally the men like a little heat more than the women, but my, all my stuff has a little heat on it, you know. So I don't know what Alabama's exact style is. We're famous for white barbecue sauce, white barbecue sauce yes. on chicken. And I don't, I don't know of anybody that tries that. No, I, I, I love that Alabama white sauce. It is so. good. It, it's good on chicken. Yeah, yeah. But it, it's, I guess that's what we're known for. I know one of our good buddies, uh, Chris Lilly from Alabama, you know, Big Bob Gibson. Absolutely, yep. And they have on their bottle that, you know, they won first place in that category, white barbecue sauce. The only thing it doesn't tell you is they were the only competitor in that contest when they won first Shh. place. <laughs> Let's but not tell those secrets. <laughs> Love it. All right, so tell me about your smoker here, mate. Uh, it's a Jambo. Um, we've had a couple of them over the years. Uh, this one's a couple of years old. It's a J3. It's the best pit out there. Uh, 
There's probably 30 or 40 Jambos here this weekend. I have seen a lot of Jambos There's, and Rectex. Uh, a lot of Jambos, um, a lot of Texas barbecuers are here. They, they hit the Louisiana contest. I think it's the best smoker out there. It makes you look a lot better than you really are. Um, <laughs> it's easy to run. You just don't get any sleep. But other than that, uh, I think it's the best bit made. Jamie's a good friend of mine, and I think he does a great job. Yeah, they're, they're obviously very popular for a reason, yeah. Yeah, yeah. easy to use. That's, yeah. that's, that's the, that's the best, best thing about them. Yep, no doubt. All right, so we're, we're closing in on um, awards time soon, so I'm going to say thanks very much for your time. Thanks, man. And really nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah you thanks too. a lot. I appreciate it.